Los Angeles, California, home of beautiful scenery, swimming pools, and movie stars. But is it also home to profitable thrift stores? Let's find out. So we've come to LA this week to attend Vid Summit, which is a YouTube conference, but we came a couple days early to hit up a couple thrift stores to see if we could find anything to flip for profit. We've got this beautiful rental car over here. Tesla Model Y. We got it because gas is just so incredibly expensive here in LA, yeah. but really it's just because it's cool. It is really, it's a really cool car, but gas is expensive. It's like $7 a gallon. Here. I think so, yeah. We're gonna save money overall. So my wife Haley and I are actually from South Carolina, not Los Angeles, and anytime we do these big out of town thrift trips, we often get asked what we do with the items. Do you ship them back home in a box? Do you take them back on the airplane? And we've done both of those in the past, but for this trip to Los Angeles, we wanted to shake things up a bit. We actually checked a bag on the way to Los Angeles, and inside of that bag was our Rolo printer with shipping labels, a shipping scale, a tape gun, and various other shipping supplies. So we're gonna sell everything we find in today's video on a big whatnot auction from our hotel room at the end of this video. So if you wanna see what we find and what we actually sell it for, how much profit we make, be sure to stick around until the end. I don't see anything I gotta have here. Foot short, oh look at that one. That one's Pro V1 foot short, $4.99. Guys, I think that's a scoop right there. White and paint, great condition. Okay, look at this. SpaceX hat, that's freaking sick. These are some Ben Hogan's Riviera wedges. This is a 52 degree wedge and it's $5.99. And we got a 58 degree red wedge Riviera um, Ben Hogan right here. And that's also $5.99. I would imagine these wedges are probably worth like 30 bucks a piece. So it would be a profitable purchase if I had a way to ship them, but I don't. So we'll, we'll leave this for the next reseller. So I decided to look up those Ben Hogan wedges because I'd never seen them before. I mean, comps look pretty good. There's a set of three, a 52, 56, and a 60. that sold for hundred bucks plus shipping. There's a 52 degree that sold for 45 plus shipping. 52 that sold for 24. Should I buy them and then just figure out how to ship them? How hard would it be to find a golf club box in Los Angeles, California in the next week? I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna get them. I can't just leave them here. Haley just found these jackets. They're literally new with tags. Yes. What is it, and they're, asking, they're only asking $15, $15. for it. $15. That's crazy because there's literally retail. a used Nike t-shirt over on that rack that just says like Nike USA and it's also $14. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. I want, That's I'm going to get one for myself and then one we can flip. Okay, Chris. perfect. Also just found this little Under Armour Threadborn size medium heat gear thing. It's a little pricey. I think it's... 10 bucks, 9.99 size medium. It's a good time of year to sell long sleeve like base layer stuff like this. I think I'll grab that. What you got? But it's Legoland. Legoland. Legoland collection. Look at the zipper. The zipper yeah. cool is a Lego. And it says Legoland on the front. It says extra small, but that says extra small, but this says small. It's cool. Is there anything on the back? Men small. Yeah, I think that's a buy. They also got more new attacks, Nike stuff. All these LA Clippers. Oh, literally, this entire row is new tag. And they're cheap. These are 15 bucks. Yeah. Like literally, if, if we were at home in Columbia, I'd buy every single one. Seventy dollar retail. I brought I brought the large poly bags and I brought the Tyvek Priority. So even yeah. if they're over a pound, we can still These ship are all them. Very out. specific though. I think this is all Clippers. Yeah, it's all Clippers. I think we should get one. Three XL, fifteen bucks. We have this pair of Chacos down here. These are look to be in pretty good shape, and there's like an interesting colorway. These are only ten bucks. I'll grab those. We've got a nice little pair of shorts here. These are cool. KUHL, that's a great brand to be on lookout for. Men's size 32, pretty decent size, only $7.99. I'll grab those. Just found these shorts. I guess the brand is Jocko, Jaco. They look like maybe like UFC wrestling shorts or something. They've got some weird dragon or something design on that side. They got Jaco, Jacko on the side. There are 21 sold on eBay in the last 90 days, so not a ton, but pre owned 35 bucks plus shipping, 30 bucks plus shipping. 25 plus shipping. Let's at least just get them, take them up there and see what they charge us for them because they don't have a tag on them. I don't know how we're going to ship those golf clubs, but yeah. we'll figure it out. The cashier just said he was going to go get a price tag for those uh, Jiu-Jitsu shorts. Uh, he didn't say how much the price tag was going to be. $7.99. $7.99? Okay. Okay, cool. I can, I can swing that. I was hoping they'd be $4.99, but I'll handle it. Thank you. You too, man. First stop today. We're loaded up. Yeah, seriously. It's a very efficient use of our time. There were definitely a couple things in the Goodwill that were certainly more expensive than they would be in South Carolina, but we were still able to find all of this stuff that's definitely profitable. Even though we're selling on whatnot, I still think you'll be able to make some money selling stuff on eBay, especially those golf clubs. Like, yes. we'll probably sell the golf clubs for cheaper on whatnot than we would on eBay. Like, I think eBay, they're 60, 65 bucks plus shipping yeah. on whatnot. We'll figure it out. But definitely profit to be found even in California, folks. I was trying to pop the trunk, but I 
couldn't figure it out and I pushed the button and then it popped the frunk. So I guess we're gonna use the frunk. That's not, how do you do this? What is this, a spaceship? Our next thrift shop is called the Council Thrift Shop or something like that. And we actually came to this one last year when we were in Los Angeles and we actually found a lot of good stuff. I think Haley got a jacket. The day we landed last year, it was, it was supposed to be, yeah, it was supposed to be 70 and sunny, but it was like 55 or yes. like under 60 degrees. And we did not prepare for that. So Haley had to get a jacket. And I actually found that weird mouse that I have, like the Logitech's vertical mouse, paid five bucks for it at this thrift shop. Uh, and it's actually worth like 80, but I didn't sell it, I kept it. So hopefully we can find some cool stuff like that this year as well. I mean, you see these all birds up here. Wool runners, 12 bucks. These look to be in pretty good shape. The market's kind of dropped on all birds a little bit, but these are still like 25, 30 bucks or so. I'm probably not gonna get these, but it's a pretty good deal. Some Sorel boots, a nice little fall pattern on them. Looks in great condition. They're 20 bucks, which is slightly out of our price range, I think. And uh, I think we're running out of boxes to ship shoes in, but these are really cool looking, probably retailed for over a hundred bucks. And they'll probably sell honestly for like 30 to 40, uh, but we're gonna leave these for somebody else. It had a lot of good stuff in there in terms of like items and brands, but it's obvious that they the prices have gone up from last year until now. That could be inflation. It could be, you know, a number of different things. Also, something we're noticing is that none of these businesses that we're going into have public bathrooms, probably because like homeless people come in and like trash them and stuff all the time uh, yeah. but it is weird because if we have to use the bathroom what do we do we have to go all the way back to the hotel so <laughs> we're gonna find a bathroom and then head to another thrift store next stop is another goodwill we had really good luck at the first goodwill a little bit better than the second thrift store so i figured we'd give another one a try get this cool hat right up here i thought it was like a halloween costume or something but then i looked and the tag is from disney disney store one size so i guess it's maybe like maleficent or something i don't know a couple little badges on there this is ten dollars though jeez i don't know i don't think we can swing that okay so there's one of those horn hats sold for thirty dollars best offer but there's also only there's only one listed and they want 55 bucks for it plus shipping and pre-owned condition there's none others like it well there's one but that's from the united kingdom it's also 54 dollars. so maybe i will get up <laughs> we're about to get in line to check out and i just pulled this vest right here it's vineyard vines Let's see how much they want for it though. That's the question. Six bucks? Oh, it says extra small. Well, that's a little tough, but even for six bucks, I mean, like, oh, the big American flag on the back? Yeah, yeah, I think we'll get that. Our next thrift stop of the day is a Salvation Army. Typically boutique. in like, oh, it's a boutique too. So that's good because they're gonna probably have some really good items, but it's probably also gonna be kind of expensive. That's the tough part about thrifting in big cities like this. It's hard to find that perfect mix of like good items at good prices, but we'll try it out. Haley just found these hokas, which they don't have any tags on them. They're kind of, they're kind of bald on the bottom, but they would still sell for probably like 30 bucks or so. Look to be in okay condition otherwise, but I don't know how much these are. Is that on cops too, but they have a hole in them? Dang, Where's everything, everything's flawed. This is not a boutique. We just found out that these hokas are $10. I think that's, I think that's doable. And like I said, there's a little bit of wear to the bottom, but the wear is very even. There's not like any bald spots that are like more bald than others. And I think we can get about 30, maybe 25, 30 bucks. So turn 10 into 25 plus shipping. I think we'll grab these. Just found this Peter Millar summer comfort shirt, size large. It does have a golf course embroidery on the front, but this is only $3.99 definitely think it's worth it an easy 20 bucks or so just found this really cool pikachu shirt i think it's got japanese or korean or something written on there i have no idea what it says so i'm gonna the pokemon uh screen printed tag size small little tie-dye action is that a stain or is that that's the beauty of tie-dye that stains don't really show up as much this is only a dollar and 99 cents so i think i'll get it it's got a little bit of cracking in the graphic right there but Super cool. Got an Untuck It shirt right here, size large. These used to do really, really well. Uh, these still retail for like 60 or 70 bucks or something. And this one's actually new with tags. So the size large, I'd definitely go ahead and pick that up. It's a little wrinkly. I don't see anything wrong with it at all. Again, it's only gonna be $5.99, so we'll grab that. So went into the Salvation Army, got a couple things, but like I said in there, it didn't really feel like a boutique. It just felt like a regular thrift store. But the problem is there's a Salvation Army thrift store, and then this one is a totally separate one, Salvation Army Boutiques. We haven't even been in the boutique yet. There's this two things here. So let's go now and see what the real boutique looks like. We got some old school vans here, 35 bucks. Look, look at here, Patagonia jacket. Is this 25 bucks? No, definitely not. Yeah, we can do 24.99. 24.99? Okay, yeah, that's right. I'll get that. Yes. 
grass unicorn. Eighteen dollars. So the only thing we picked up in that boutique version of Salvation Army was that Patagonia jacket, twenty four ninety nine. There's no sales tax. I, I don't know if that's just a Salvation Army thing or California thing. I did pick up an All Saints um, like mohair yeah. and wool sweater, but I didn't actually get it because it was an extra small. And we got up to the register and Josh was like, "That looks kind of small." So we, it looks. It might have been shrunk a little bit, but the only one is sixteen dollars. I probably could have gotten like. 50. So we decided to call it quits after that last Salvation Army boutique trip because we had to come back here to the hotel room to get set up for tonight's whatnot auction. I just scheduled it for 7 p.m. Pacific time, so it should be like 10, 7, 8, 10 p.m. Eastern time, I think. So I didn't want to do too late for the folks over on the East Coast. But Haley's already started to add some stuff to the auction. It should go pretty well. We're going to sell everything we got today as well as everything we picked up uh, day one of L.A. and in New York City that was in our last YouTube videos. So if you want to see all that stuff, definitely be sure to go ahead and watch that video, which I will link right here on the top of the screen and down below in the in the video description. While the whatnot auction is going on, please enjoy this short video of our dog mode. I love you so much. I like how your arm is kind of crossed a little bit. The whatnot auction out of our hotel room went really well. I'll tell you guys exactly what everything sold for in just a second. But I just want to thank all of you that constantly show up to our shows and buy stuff and just hang out in the chat. It means a lot to us. And just having this opportunity to sell all this stuff we found in today's video in just about an hour on a live video auction where we can give you guys good deals and, and connect with our audience that way is just a huge blessing. So just shout out whatnot for being a great selling platform. Not a sponsor of today's video, but we just really enjoy the whole process. And walking from our hotel room down to the lobby and out with these huge bags of packed up orders headed to the post office was just way better than shipping anything back in a big box with UPS ground or trying to fit all this stuff in a check bag and bring it back home to South Carolina. The pink and white Titleist hat sold for $17 and the fitted SpaceX hat sold for $13. The two golf clubs we picked up sold for $38, bucks, which I was super happy with. The buyer got a great deal and we made some nice profit. The Nike jacket that Haley found sold for $31 and the Under Armour base layer I got sold for $15. Probably not a great pickup because we paid like $9.99 for it. The Lego vest we found sold for $19 and that LA Clippers blue hoodie I got sold for $51. Bucks. That cool pair of Chacos sold for $32 bucks and those cool shorts sold for 17. Those Jayco shorts, which turned out to have the Mexican flag on the side, sold for $35. The Allbirds we found sold for $21, and the Maleficent hat that we took a chance on for $10 sold for $22. The Vineyard Vines vest only sold for $13, but that pair of Hoka's we found sold for $33. The Pikachu shirt sold for $22, the Untuck It shirt sold for $27, and the best sale of the day, the Patagonia jacket sold for $66. All these prices were plus shipping, as in the buyer paid shipping on top of this. So we only have to take out our fees, which ended up being like 50 or 60 bucks or so. So once everything is said and done, we are left with $254.17 in profit. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it at all, you can definitely check out this video right over here. This is our thrifting video from last year in Los Angeles. You can see what we found in that video as well. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best. We will catch you on the next one. Whew.